Hello everybody, just came back from church. And I want to let you guys know that I prayed to the Heavenly Father Jehovah yesterday and today before I went to church. And I just want to remind you guys, you know, God answered my prayers about this. I pray to God with more than one prayer. So here it is, guys. When I get from my family, got the church, went to the sinks, got my cup of water, walked in the church, you know. There was those in front of the doors who were greeting me, saying, greeting, meaning, they're not saying greetings, but they were saying, hello, welcome, you know. And I said, thank you, and so welcome. You know how you guys, when you go to church on Sunday and you see somebody by the doors? They weren't the deacons. The ones who work with the pastors, or no, they were just members of the church who work there. Deacons are actually members of the church too, but they, depends on what church you go to, but they work for the pastor, the preacher, the, the preacher, the pastor, bishop, whatever you want to call it, priest, like I said, whatever you want to call it. Got my cup of water, got the lid, the straw, put it on, filled up my cup with water and ice, which came with it. And then the, they already have cups of water on the counter with ice in it. So I took it, filled it up with the water, put the lid and the straw on it. And guys, may I remind you that immediately, and I mean like immediately, we went, we went to the sanctuary. Everybody was sat in the last row of the church in the sanctuary. Every, the worship music. The first song that they played was Am I Wrong by Nico and Vince, you know, the church and the sanctuary they were playing that song got a microphone and most of the microphones in their hands are playing the guitar and the drums on stage there's members of the church who do that and immediately guys <clears throat> there were three songs they played but one of the songs they played the last one was chris tomlin holy forever meaning also referring to the holy ghost because the holy ghost is holy forever you know because it's holy but in the lyrics of the song, it was singing that the archangels in heaven were singing holy, you know, holy forever because they're holy, they're righteous, you know, and they were created by God. Speaking of angels, I just want to remind you guys that angels are not like temporary things, you know, they're not because they are eternal. God created them. Now, eternity, God is eternal. So eternity lasts forever, forever lasts eternal. So that means it's one and the same thing. What I'm saying, guys, is that the, the Lord created the angels. They're not automatic. They don't have free will. They didn't create themselves. God created the angels. Just letting you know. And there were angels surrounding the church. Now, I don't think no one else knew that there, but I knew it because I prayed about it to the Lord, saying, you know, let the... Lord, Heavenly Father, let the archangels surround the church and guard the church and protect it and keep it safe. And they did. And immediately after the worship music songs were over, the, stain, the screen came down. And Pastor Craig got on stage. He, was, he wasn't preaching the gospel. He was praying, you know, he was to the Lord and all that. And he introduced somebody. I forgot her name, but she introduced he introduced somebody. She came on stage and he left. She came on stage and he was preaching the gospel. She was preaching the book of Luke, chapter 9, verse 26. You know, Jesus was saying to his apostles, they asked, you know, Jesus was saying, Who say that I am? When Jesus was talking to his apostles, his disciples, was his disciples are the apostles, but he was saying to his 12 disciples, Who say that I am? Like, you know, and. You know, Peter, one of his disciples, was saying, read the book of Luke, you know, Luke chapter 9, verse 26, it was saying, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but he was saying that, Peter said, thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And immediately, Jesus said, well said, Peter. And he was like, thanking him, congratulating him. He didn't say thank you, congratulations, but he was saying that, you know, hey, thank you that you know who I am. Because Jesus was acknowledging, he realized that Peter knew who he was. And he knew Peter's thoughts before he even thought about it. It's in a true story. You can read it in the Bible, in the Old Testament. But correct me if I'm wrong, the book of Luke is in the Old Testament or the New Testament? Type in, in the comments below. The Old Testament, New Testament, you can give me some Bible verses and I'll, I'll read it. And I can read it. I'm going 
go to my phone because I have the Bible ver I have the Bible app on my phone, the Uvirgin Bible app. You guys, you can, if you have your phone, install it, use it, check it out. So also, guys, may I remind you that? So after the the lady on stage was saying a few funny things too, it was good. You know, I got a good laugh out of it. And immediately, guys, I looked in the sanctuary. I was looking around. I was, I was looking around, guys, in the sanctuary, and immediately, you have half of those. Some of them were on. The, not everybody was on their phone in the sanctuary. So basically, guys, see my eyes were itchy. Immediately, you guys, that not everybody. Sorry. Um, immediately, you guys, not everybody was on their phone. So. There was one person on their phone, but everybody else was not on their phone. Everybody was looking at the screen, paying attention to the sermon. And after, at the end of the sermon, guys, she got off the stage and Pastor Craig came on. They gave, well, he gave her a hug. She gave him a hug and she walked off stage and Pastor Craig came back on the stage and he was preaching the gospel. He wasn't preaching the gospel, I wish he was, but he was talking about the sermon and what the lady taught and this and that. You can go to lifechurch.com. I'll put the their channel link in the description below so you can click on the link. It'll take you right to their right to their channel you can check out the sermon for yourself there's a video a live video about it on their youtube channel lc are the initials for the church there's like a white icon pro white profile picture icon with the the letters lc because l stands for life and the and the letter c stands for the church lc life church that's what it is you guys have seen the videos of me making that. So you guys can subscribe to the channel. So anyway, guys, after that, and Pastor Craig was saying, you know, he closed his eyes. He was saying a prayer. And immediately, church dismissed. Everybody left and went home. And here I am. So I'm back. And so I have to say, guys, and I usually do this, like, I don't do this, like, every single week and every Sunday because I usually don't go to church every Sunday. But... I did today, last Sunday and today. Sunday, June 16th, and today on Sunday, June 23rd, I went to church. So, yeah, I went to church about three to four times this month. So, yeah. And no, and the Bible doesn't say anywhere. Show me a scripture, a verse that says that, a chapter, verse, and storyline that says that you have to go to church every Sunday to get saved by the Lord Jesus Christ. Because that's not in the Bible. Jesus didn't say to go to a building and pray. Jesus prayed in the garden of Gethsemane. Jesus went by himself on the earth. He prayed to the Heavenly Father in a garden or out in the temple or outside. Jesus prayed everywhere he went. It wasn't just in one building. Think about that. You could pray in your you could pray to the Heavenly Father in your house, outside, in your car, wherever you're at, you could pray to the Lord. He doesn't care how you pray or where you pray. He just he just cares that you pray to him and communicate and you talk with him. Heavenly Father is the one true Lord, Jehovah. He's the one true God that there is to worship, to pray to, and to read the Bible about, and know His Word and the Gospel. And I've seen the comments on my other videos. You guys did a great job. I could tell you've read the Bible. And God bless you with His blessings, and may the Lord be upon you. Have a good rest of your Sunday. If you have a story to share about your church, Type in the comments and I'll read it.